Hello students, here in this video we are going to see a problem on calculation of force required to punch a hole. Here we have a question, calculate the force required to punch a hole of 30 mm diameter in a metal plate of thickness 20 mm. The permissible shear stress in the material and corresponding factor of safety are 400 megapascal and 3 respectively. So this is the question we have. Whatever is given here, let us write that in the form of data. Calculate the force required. Force I'll denote it by letter P. To punch a hole of 30 mm diameter. Diameter is 30 mm. In a metal plate of thickness 20 mm. Thickness of the plate is given. The permissible shear stress in the material and corresponding factor of safety are this value 400 megapascal is of the shear stress which is denoted by tau 400 megapascal that is it is 400 newton per mm square and FOS factor of safety is 3. Now for these conditions given let us try to get the solution for this problem. Now in the solution part, here first I'll draw the diagram. Now this is the metal plate whose thickness is given as 20 mm. And in this plate, <clears throat> here we want to shear a hole this hole would be sheared with the help of a punch here this is a punch which will be producing a hole in this plate this punch will have a diameter as it is given that we want to produce a hole of 30 mm diameter so the diameter of this punch will also be 30 mm so it would produce a hole of 30 mm diameter next we have to find out how much would be the force p that is force which is applied by the punch how much is this force is what we have to calculate to shear a hole here so the solution for this problem will start with first i'll calculate how much is this shearing area i'll write down since shearing area is given by a is equal to Shearing area is pi d which is the circumference multiplied by the thickness here. So therefore capital A is equal to pi diameter is 30 mm thickness is 20. So therefore area it comes out to be 1884.95 mm square. Now after getting this area the next step is since they has they have given us fos that is the factor of safety as 3 and shear stress is given as 400 mega pascal so for that i will write down therefore ultimate shear stress is equal to permissible shear stress into factor of safety now this formula has come from FOS that is factor of safety which is given by ultimate shear stress denoted by tau ultimate upon tau permissible so therefore ultimate shear stress is equal to permissible shear stress 
into factor of safety therefore ultimate shear stress is the permissible shear stress value is 400 into FOS is 3 so this value is 1200 Newton per mm square now after getting the ultimate shear stress I'll write down since force required to punch a hole will be equal to ultimate shear stress into shearing area because as we know that force is equal to stress into area here we want the value of force required which is shear force and that is equal to shear stress into shearing area so hence I'll write down P is equal to ultimate shear stress is 1200 and shearing area we have found out it was 1884.95 so if I multiply these terms my final answer is it is in terms of 2261.94 in terms of Newton or if I want to write it in terms of kilo Newton it will be 2.261 into 10 raised to 3 here I am getting the answer as in terms of yes this is in terms of Newton so if I want to write it in terms of kilo Newton I'll have to divide this so finally P will be 2.261 kilo Newton so this much is the force required at the punch so that we can shear a hole of 30 mm diameter in a plate of 20 mm thickness and with this we complete the problem